So, hello everyone, here coming for Gorilla Waifu, of course, and even more so, Axe Waifu. Have you seen Axe Waifu? I mean, she's just my type, you know, Akuro, got some cool brawn her going on there, got a big axe. So, I'm excited for Axe Waifu, or I saw it, I know. An amazing waifu last episode, she's just the best at everything, yeah. She can cook, she can clean, she can fight, you know, she's a one punch man, right? she can do everything, so. Yeah, he got a super legit uber waifu there, so I, I wonder though what, how Axe waifu is gonna compete though. Appearance wise, I like her more though. She had tanned, I mean, she got all, uh, everything going for her. From appearance wise, so yeah, she's, I would say, uh, definitely my pick. But, uh, you know, what we know from Sora, so no, Sora is like amazing. And, of course, voiced by Kanna! So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Like, I, I didn't think about that, but of course, they changed her voice when they, <laughs> she's in her. You know, more girly form, right? Yeah, I didn't think about that. As uh, I mentioned there, but they were like, oh yeah, like, <laughs> of course you're gonna change your form. Um, otherwise, you'd be stuck in the, well, what do you call it? Like the, I, mean, I guess it was worked by a man, right? Yeah, it was by a man, um, to some extent, right? Um, but I thought, the, I thought they might have stopped like a voice manipulating her or something, you know, like a voice a tune or something, yeah, man tuning it, but no, no, different voice actor. Anyway, that was the episode, so 3, 2, 1, and go. So there we go. Here I see it, with the hot waifu. And now I guess he's gonna pick up another waifu. You need to have a waifu, right? As I said, episode 1 from the opening and so on, he seems to have two main waifus, right? He has Sari, of course, his gorilla waifu with huge oppies. There's a babe. She wants to be the perfect wife, right? And then also, of course, she has ex-wife. And then, like, there are some squirrel girl or something, right? There is something else in the in the opening, but they probably don't care. That... <gasps> Kanna! His helmet is kind of weird. Yeah, I got a helmet I can open. Oh, my God. Yeah, helmet that can open. That's like, whoa! You can, like, open it. Like, oh, my God. You can open the vizier. It's amazing. It's like... Yeah, that, that's something that you've never seen before in my life. Oh, it's a slime! Rimaru! <gasps> Rimaru-sama! Yeah. <laughs> so, of course... <laughs> what? Level 88 slime? But maybe it's... Uh, maybe it's... I don't know how levels in this work on this last boss. Maybe, maybe it's not that powerful. No, it's just this power. It's a, it's a Rimaru! He calls Rimaru and attacks them. Man, he's gonna go say on it. <laughs> oh, of course, it's slime, so. Oh, he just dies immediately. He's gonna go say on it, yeah, and like, DIE! Yeah, it's a boy, it's a boy! You know, supporting wife in her, yeah, I love you! <laughs> he sat there, I love you, honey! You're so powerful! Oh my god, my man! Yeah, so he drops. Here's the perfect drop, right? Nice, he gets to boots his wife for a husband. Yeah, say you can! <laughs> he gives his wife some boots for her husband. Loot some stuff for her. Yeah, get the blue mage skill going on, you know. Learn everything. Leveling up. Oh man. I'm finally leveling up. Oh yeah, I'm turning into a monster, but you know, he's happy, kinda, I think. Leveling up, right? Kinda. Ari. What's happening? His eyes are turning. What's happening? Oh, and suddenly a cloak appears from the sky? What? Hmm? Okay. Gift from God? What? What is this? Oh yeah, Mr. Sheep, the dungeon master kind of guy. Oh, he's like, it's a gift you level up? Yeah, it's very gamey! You reach level 2, here's a gift from God! Yeah, it's like, here's another present. It is, he's like a video gamer, basically. <laughs> very much so. Oh, I heard you like leveling up, man! Where I got your back, you know, yeah, it's like, I got your back. Yeah, level up, you know, he calls God's present for you, basically. Legit, helpful guy. Hmm. Who is the ex wife though? That's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Mr. Sheep God is like, whatever, get some gift here. Enjoy it. Yeah. Where is Yukata Shinichi? Yeah, stop complaining, man. God is giving you a gift here. Like, he exploded like, uh, it's better gadgets. <laughs> Yeah. Man, the oppas are massive. <laughs> I never wear shoes before! <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> you know, the oppas are ridiculous. Ah, you're a she, honey! 
Yeah, but you know, they're having a, a sweet honeymoon here. He's walking around with his waifu. Do she, my love. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. But man, she's really attractive. Uh, but I still would say that ex wife who is my. Uh, she got everything I want. I guess more abs on her stomach would be better, though. That's the only thing I would. <laughs> I'll sit here and be like picky with my wife who's. Here she calls in the opening again, right? She looks. Again, I say it every episode, but I think she feels more love interest, honestly, than Sarah, because she kisses him in the opening. Look at that. Here we are the opening, right? She's going for a kiss. I feel she's like beating Saria on, uh, you know, seducing him, so I don't know what that, uh, what's that about, but I do wonder though how to go for a little Saria Shan, right, yeah, and losing to ex wife And then, you know, a bunch of other wife that doesn't matter, probably, <laughs> honestly, right? Yeah, there's like a bunch of other females that probably doesn't matter, yeah, it's like, oh, look at these girls, no one, no one cares. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but it's kind of like that, you know, look at it, he's like walking with his two wives there, right? And there's like a bunch of other ladies that, they're gonna be in the anime, but they, they, here is the onsen episode, you know, they're gonna be each other up by the onsen, right? But no one really cares about them. Um, but that blue hair and that, like, I don't know, I don't know what she's cat girl or something, yeah. She's clearly, you know, she's gonna be in love with him, but she doesn't really matter. She's kinda there, but doesn't really, yeah. She's like a part of it, you know, she's like, she exists. <laughs> she exists in the anime, yeah, that, that's what she is, though, you know. What? That's my wife, man! Call her a slave! A horrible person with this guy. He's like, you've got your own little, uh, you know... Yeah, what? The Ratalia there, what? Oh. That's actually pretty handy there. Well, it's like a... Really handy thing there. You can just analyze if someone's a bad guy or like a karma. Yeah, a karma view. Uh, <laughs> she's like, I never killed humans on purpose! Okay, she's taking a pass though? And since she's been the crap out of people though, maybe only her him. Hmm, okay. Did you pass that away? I don't know, I felt like she's kinda like... You know... Crazy waifu that does stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, it is a guy, he doesn't understand the rules right. You know, in that sense, he's a pretty good waifu to have with him. Because he doesn't understand the world, he's obviously really Sakai, we know that. But she's a gorilla, so she has also not... Yeah, so she's also kinda new to the human world, right? So, even though he has a wife from this world, it's not like she can help him with the rules or whatever. I'm sorry, Sean! Yeah, it's like Saria knows anything about this world, right? So, I guess, not at least like inside the actual human castle, right, or whatever. Uh, so that's true, she's also kinda Isekai, right? She's a monkey, gorilla, I mean, sorry, gorilla woman into, you know... She's a gorilla uh, inside of the human pl place, right? So that's kind of like Isekai, right? Because she doesn't really understand how, of course, the human works and so on. Um, so that's true. She's, she's a good companion for having two confused people <laughs> that are in love together, yeah. I suppose. Is fair to say? Horra, horra, horra! What's happening? It's a kind of butt bone. What? Is this the guild? It's a kind of. Yeah, it's like, actually, I'm also gonna go to get <laughs> What's happening? The wrong door? What? It's the right door. It's the guild. It's that kind of sex club. Uh, shut the matte! Yeah. <laughs> <I> was like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm playing Enter the Dragon right now, right? Yeah, yeah. So I just played the Master Six Quest at the day yesterday. We were helping this woman to, you know... Beat up this guy, right? This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy trying to find, uh, I don't know. He's trying to find a woman powerful enough to make him uh, feel pain or whatever, yeah. Uh, but okay, so they're all freaks. Yeah, this guy's like a baby pacifier. And this guy is clearly, yeah, showing his muscles. So the gill is just a bunch of. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of perps. What? Nene! What's happening in there, honey? Don't look! <laughs> yeah. No, not for my beautiful waifu! You're gonna ruin your eyes! <laughs> of course, here comes the guy, a bodybuilder, you know. Here comes a Masio! Here we go. Oh, Masio! Oh, he's a guild master, of course. Yeah, the guild master is a ma muscular guy, yeah. He's tan, he's a Kuro. 
Yeah, no, come on, it's Mastery, oh, here it comes. I love it. What is this guild? There are a bunch of weirdos, yeah, a bunch of hentai, so what? Yes, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, he pushes the me with his uh, groin there. Very good, very good. Proper guildmaster. Uh, what the hell? Nani? <laughs> she skips the hand behind a whip in this vessel. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> New people in my guild. Oh, is she like the cleric or something? Like every anime has, you know, some kind of, yeah, Ellie's the receptionist. Everyone has the cleric, right? Of course, of course she is. Ah, what a cute woman! <laughs> what, a, what a friendly lady! <laughs> so, 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 uh, so, so, receptionist, but she's also the BDSM club mistress. What? A dominator is also. Yeah, it's only my classmates and all. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, so the guild is a bunch of hands. Uh, what is this? Why is the guild. I mean, I guess the guild master, the. Mashio was like, he picked up them, he was like... Yeah... Look at them, they're also happy, yeah, because they're all about freaks. What a surprise, yeah, Totomo and Hapu, yeah, they're so... Tanoshi, yeah, they're all so happy, <laughs> like, look at this Nakamas, Tanoshi, Tanoshi, yeah, let's join them, they, they're all so... Oh, cool, here comes a bunch of Yankees or something, like, the, yeah, it's a kind of, like, Mad Max Yankees, you know, or, I guess, um, uh, Fist of North Star. <laughs> yeah, because they're living in the 90s. Uh, hope for someone, no, uh, yeah, crazy in the 90s. Hope for someone understands my reference. Man, I love that opening, yeah. Crazy in the 90s. I guess because it's supposed to be the 90s. Yeah, I remember it's like the old Fist of North Star opening. Where they're like, Crazy in the 90s. Uh, it's a very weird opening. Uh, but this guy looks like straight out of Fist of North Star, definitely. He's so handsome. Yeah. <gasps> oh, he's so hot. <laughs> and they're all like, Oh my god, this guy is so attractive. Oh, they want to smash him instead? Yeah, yeah, it's only paid for the first time, man. But you get used to it? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna love it. What is the, why are they all bunch of per- Yeah, what is this anime? Why, why is the whole guild a bunch of hentais? What? What? Yeah, they, they, they just wanna, they just wanna seduce him. Yeah, it's just a friendly, seductive. Uh, <laughs> I love it, 80s, yeah. <laughs> that anime is weird. That anime is weird than you think it's gonna be. You know, just because he has a gorilla wife, I don't expect it to be this weird. But this anime is weird, yeah. I don't expect it to be this weird, honestly, right? Just having a gorilla wife, I don't feel warrants it being this weird. But this anime, it is weird. Like, okay, so... He has... Yeah, they're trying to smash him in the in the backyard because... I don't know, they're a bunch of hens or something, yeah. Oh, dear, what they're like... Oh, this is the first time someone did not get awed by them. Very impressive. Those guys always get. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I always let them do it, man. Man, this place is weird, man. They're like, yeah, oh yeah, they awe people all the time, but it's part of the guild, you know. Oh, and everyone that's new gets to get awed. That's how you get recruited or something. Man, he shouldn't join this guild, man. They're all a bunch of, yeah, <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm not saying you can't do or jokes. I'm just saying that why would you join this guild after the guys try to, you know, or you? And then the guild master's like, ha ha ha! They do that every time we have a new recruit! Those guys are so funny! You're like, why, 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 why do you think this is funny? Like, they're like, ah, oh, come on! They do this every time! Those guys are so hilarious! <gasps> X Y Fu! Yes! X Y Fu! Oh, Altria's name. A class! <gasps> Look at the H boobies, here we go. Exactly. Exactly, he gets it too, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm your wife! Here we go, net the red immediately. Oh nice, you're gonna go and party with her immediately, here we go. Oh, it's okay, I like you! Yeah! <laughs> this guy's like, well, he survived the or so he's powerful. He did not get, you know, gang or over here, so he has to be powerful. 
It's like, that was your foundation. Well, I mean, he survived not getting, you know, you know, assaulted in, in, the, in the dark alley. He said they've been too, so, you know, he's kind of powerful. Yeah, he survived the quest of getting not orred. He has to be very powerful. It's like, is that really how you judge this thing? They're like, well, how else would you judge this thing? Yeah, you're like, okay. But they're not getting all, you know, nice to the middle. Alter the calamity. Here we go. X waifu. Is how I call her. Aksu waifu. She definitely got huge knockers, but I guess <laughs> Soul gets sorry. I guess they're both pretty big when it comes to. Yeah, they're both pretty big when it counts, right? Definitely. Yeah, he's an he's an easy guy. Come on, it's a powerful romance easy guy. You know the good powers. Of course, they're all gonna be big, right? That's most important to the anime. Got some big ass, you know. Yeah, like. All gonna be a quality isekai cast, right? I find you kind of cover. I think you cover it too. I think they're both flirting with her immediately. But I feel Sora is probably open, you know, for a uh, mixed bag. I feel I feel Sora is opening for the share, you know, honestly, as long as she can be the two. Yeah, I really I feel Sora is open for Sichi and her and Altiria at the same time. She's she's that yeah. Look at it. She's like that. She's the like yeah. Let's go, right? I feel. She's definitely that kind of wife through there. I feel she would actually accept having a threesome, you know. So she can be part of it, yeah. If she wanna smash ex waifu, as long as she can be there too, I think she's fine with it. Honestly, I think that's kind of her character, right? She's nice. Nice. And the enemy knows what we want. <laughs> yeah, like, let's focus on her, you know, assets part, yeah. Proper anime knows what you wanna show the art, the viewer, yeah, you know. Know what's up, right? Know what's up there, yeah. Or she's a very, you know, very helpsome Onesan, right? Taking care of her little, the orphanage kids and so on, yeah. You know, like classic, goody, tushy, you know. Itai, you know, yeah. Oh, and then some stuff falls on her. But she's so badass, she probably avoided it. Yeah, yeah, she's like, whatever. She's like, oh, it's flexed. Yeah, yeah. She's obviously the muscular wife, which is flexed, right? Like, <laughs> well, actually, isn't so also a muscular wife who. I mean, he, he only has basically muscular wife, so he only has like muscular power wife, right? So, yeah, he, that's kind of his characterization. He only has uh, wife with muscles. Well, he got the dismantling power, though, so he can just probably do it. Yeah, <laughs> but he's like touching it. Yeah, back up! <laughs> it's like, I touched it. I, I dismantled it quickly, though, so, you know. Yeah. I mean, it works, right? Use an effective way to do it. Just an effective way, woman. Calm, calm your horses. Just doing it in an effective way. I guess she's used to people dying around her. Uh, okay, yeah, her backstory. She's used to her, her friends and family dying, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's like a... That's what they call it, Calamity, because of bad luck. She kind of kills everyone around her. Hmm. Yeah, Misfortune Girl. I see. That's what they call her. Of course, this guy's OP, right? He's like, I'm fine. This doesn't hurt me. I don't know why she's that dangerous. I mean, she's just rocks. They have magical powers. I don't think that's like a super dangerous in this world, right? He's kind of like, yeah, it didn't even hurt me. And, you know, you know, it's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like, you're gonna die! What is the need then? Yeah, you also got your waifu, man! What about your waifu? What you bought your wife to? Uh, well, yeah, so I guess she's used to lots of friends and family, right? Poor woman. Yeah, but now it's like sundering it. No, I'm like you doing anything, yeah! It's not like I like you doing anything. <laughs> she's like doing the sunder mode. It's not like I care about you or anything. 
Yeah, she's very kind. Oh, I don't like her. Yeah, she's gonna come ashore. She's gonna have to be like. I'm also gonna like. I don't care really though. Um, so here's the older cats, right? The older Isekai people. The people that have been, you know, sent there. The for some reason is still there, you know? No one really cares about that. Um, yeah, you just keep training them. Like, it's very. But even if they rely on them, what, why would they train them better? Like, why would they train them using actual skills or whatever? They're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're gonna train you in like basic swordsmanship. Don't even train them in a proper way, right? I'm not giving them a chance to be, you know, properly utilized. I guess it, yeah. Not really. This is actually really nice, then. Yeah, this is actually really nice. Actually, it's really nice. Uh, uh. Okay. A quest to, like, take a dog for a walk or something? Is it the hardest one? It's like a giant dog, maybe? Yeah, of course it is. It's a fan that is Ulf. Of course, yeah. It's Ash. Yeah, Milky Shan. Yeah. Oh, yes. You like him? We met like five minutes ago. No, I don't love him, bro. I think I met him like yesterday. It is kind of silly how funny she's in love with him, basically, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ara, Ara! You into him? She's like, I met him today, yeah, but you're into him? Yeah, it's actually, it's kind of silly how she already is like, yeah, you love him. Yeah, I know you met him like five minutes ago, but you love him. Don't you, Altria? Yeah, it's like, I just, I just met him, but sure. Ooh, we can stay at my inn. Yeah. Yeah, inviting them to her home. So she's basically marrying him already. Yeah, she's like, it's a reasonable fee living at my place. Yeah, I mean, she's already inviting him to be his wife here. My chest mask is not so fried. Yep, so there are trees something here immediately. Yep, they picked up Axe Waifu and she picked them up and now they're gonna live together. He's getting a second wife here. I think this is the three, three main cats, right? Yeah. Sichi, Saria, and Altria. Yeah, that's the three main. The main love story, right? Um, but it kind of feels like Saria is just happy with it, honestly. Yeah, like she's like, oh, this is fine. You know? Yeah, she's like, oh, I can live with this. Oh, shearing my husband with a cute Axe Waifu. I can live with that. And honestly, it feels like she's kind of is that woman, right? She's like, oh, whatever. Uh, which is a two uncommon, I think, in this kind of isekai and harems that you have a girl into the harem. Yeah, she's like, I can live with being a harem character. It's pretty cool. Um, definitely like a shopper. It's the ending here, they got a cast. Can we show? Because it, I mean, yes, in the ending, sure, they have three other wifers too. But they definitely, in my opinion, feel a little less important, right, than, uh, obviously, in Altria, like. And also here in the ending, right, Altria's the first one to get, uh, you know, embarrassed. He looks at her and then they fight, right? And they comes the guys that try to awe him in the, in the, in the, in the alley, yeah, that was kind of interesting. Uh, and there they are, of course, in the ending, oh, yeah, yeah. It's those guys, the guys that were trying to be at family friendly with him in the, in the dark alley, yeah, that was, you know, very, very... Wholesome anime, certainly wholesome anime, very, very wholesome. Uh, and then it's like Bahamut and slimes, so you know. Uh, <laughs> I felt he kind of went say on it, yeah, he was like level 10,000 attack damage on it. I felt he went kind of overkill on it, definitely. Certainly. But yeah. It's not even sitting there. <laughs> Talking to you. Oh, but it's Kanna, after all. Kanna! Um, but yeah, let's go back here. Talk about the best scene, of course. A lot of good uh, scenes, definitely. Uh, you know, a bunch of hand ties and so on. But <laughs> like, no, but I mean, definitely after she saves him from the rocks, right? 
or saves him. He's just kind of left anyway. Just do the save him. He's just kind of he's kind of walked out of it. But where was the scene when she was walking? And it was like no, it was after they leave uh, Saria. I talk to, talk about the kids, right? Yeah, they leave it at the church. She's doing the church quest, right? Yeah, yeah the orphanage quest thing. The classic thing. Yeah, and she's all like, I can do it! Yeah, and after that, yeah, we see the nun. She's like, oh, thank you, Sarashan. What a good girl you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what a good girl you are. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, and then the anime is like, let's do what everyone wants to see. <laughs> now, how we say that the anime knows what's up, you know? No, what's up with my butt? Yeah, at least I'm strolling out of the anime. That's from the previous last last week, landlady. Uh, I'm just saying the anime is like, you know, it's anime. You're like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, gonna focus on the good parts, right? Oh, you, you know, this new character? Uh, she's pretty attractive, so let's, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> More like curve wife than ex wife, you know, but I love it. They're like, you know, what you want. They just do like an ass scene here. You just have a scene when she walks, you know, when. Let's zoom in on her, you know, on her, yeah, you know, good, good, good anime, yeah, proper, proper anime. And, uh, of course, she's introduced, you know, she immediately comes in there, you drop by, touches him right, uh, immediately gets kind of flirty with them, uh, and, you know, embarrassed and so on. I just see when she can, like, the first time she kind of blushed. I feel her thing is to blush a lot, right? Like she, she's very, and then she's kind of very, nothing is, I think it's kind of Sundra. But she's not really, you know, Sundra in the... She's more like Kawaii Sundra, yeah. She's not like Sundra in the sense that, you know, she's like, I will kill you with my axe thing. She's more... She's very much on the light, kind of yoking Sundra. She's like, ha <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun being your... Yeah. She's more on that level, I think, right? So, can I hear? This is more her, right? You know, she's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, you know. <laughs> she's more like a little... Uh, she's Sundra, I suppose. But it's also, I guess it's more like a girl that's never had a boyfriend or whatever before, right? So, she's very, she's kind of muscular, right? Big over an axe. And he's like the first guy in Saria, you know, those, those are two characters called cute and kawaii and so on. She's more like she can't handle uh, compliments, yeah. I think that's, that feels more like her, right? Like a very attractive woman, but not very used to compliment. People are like afraid of her because she's the calamity and she's very, you know, tough and so on, yeah. Um, so, of course, she's kind of like... Kind of a, you know, a badass, right? Yeah, a badass, I suppose. I could go for it. I do love her interest, though. I mean, she looks freaking badass. Stands there with her axe. Come on, she looks uh, here, yeah. Like, she's like a badass warrior lady. The best kind of lady, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, appearance-wise, I think she's easily the hottest character in this anime. Easily. Probably one of the hottest wife this season. Uh, we have Giz Lane, though. You know how much I love Giz Lane? So, yeah, I mean, uh, Altria is, is, is beautiful, obviously. I think one of the top wives this season, from appearance alone, absolutely. But, uh, you know, I gotta be honest, right, we do have Gislaine this season, so, you know, like, I'm not gonna... <laughs> we're gonna forget about that, right, yeah, we, we got some... Uh, we got, like, the, probably, in my opinion, the year's hottest waifu in uh, <laughs> in that anime, Mushiko Tenshi, so I'm a little bit like, you know... I, but LT is obviously, obviously a very similar character to her, yeah, they're obviously similar, so... Uh, but anyway... The first half, though, funny, but really weird. Yeah, whole, this anime is weirder than I expected, honestly, right? I mean, yes. That he has, like, gorilla waifu, that doesn't surprise me, right? Because there's a lot of isekai where you meet a woman and, she turn, you know, she transforms from whatever, right? From an android or dragon or whatever, yeah, like a dragon waifu is super common, right? So a gorilla waifu is not, like, it's not really out there. But this thing, that they're gonna or him in, in the alley, and then when he escapes them, the guild master is like, oh, it happens every time. Like, what? It happens every time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those three guys, they, 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 you know, they gang up and they, mm, yeah, they get inside, you know, of all the new recruits. He's like, uh, should you stop them? He's like, nah, nah, I mean, it's part of the guild, you know. So he really shouldn't join this guild because this sounds like a bunch of, not to use pervs, but, you know, actual assaulting people, yeah, all the time. And I mean, yeah, and they're like proud of it. It's like, yeah, it happens every day, man. That's how we test the new recruits, right? If you can survive it, then you're basically worth it to join our guild, right? Yeah, it's like, uh, okay. Like the beginning here, I mean, of course she's, uh, <laughs> and I mean, of course she's the, what's called? Uh, the receptionist, the clerk, yeah. Of course she's the clerk, right? She's, she's the girl that is running the, um, you know, yeah, she's the she's the girl that runs the place. Yeah, of course she is. And 
and they try to R him, and he's like, oh, you survived getting R? Ah, pretty strong guy there, what are you <laughs> Didn't get your, you know, uh, yeah, didn't get your body in destroyed from the insides? Oh, that, that's great. You can probably be uh, like an A adventurer then. Yeah, so this guild is weird. Uh, like, I mean, really weird. Right? Honestly, a little too much. In my opinion, even though, you know, I love it. No, but I mean, I love, you know, Etchy Yokes and so on. I'm just saying that... Uh, I have no problem with Etchy Yokes. I'm just saying that why would you join this guild? I'm just saying, I'm just saying that. Like, if you have this R guild, okay, this guild is crazy. Uh, fine, you know, like, that that could be a thing, right? I'm just, I'm just questioning why the main character is like, okay, I'm not going to join this guild. I'm going to go somewhere else. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm questioning. After they tried to R him in the alley, he definitely shouldn't return to guild, except for killing those bastards, right? So, yeah, that, that's kind of weird, how he just kind of accepts it. That, I mean, he's kind of like, ah, eh, whatever then. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Axe Wife who enters. Very nice, very nice. Love that stuff. And um, see you guys tomorrow with Tact OP, with Musical Waifu. Yeah, Piano Waifu, that is dead or something. Episode 2 took me for a speed man in Tact OP last week, yeah. I didn't expect that kind of... Uh, she's like a robot something, a musical uh, robot cyber thing. A very, very weird ending. So I'm interested to see what that means. I interpreted that her actually being dead or something like that, right? So it's interesting. Can definitely be. I can pretty to listeners. I say it quickly again. Pretty listeners. The map also did, but listener was way more boring. Technopi has much better character, so they're very, very similar. Premise wise, I was the exact same thing, but listener was had more dislikable characters. So yeah, Technopi is pretty good. Really is. Um, so right, see you guys and have a great day.